Hey friends, welcome to the advanced ESA database tutorial. In this tutorial, you will develop a fully functional Flutter application using the latest version of ESA database. I will guide you in creating an expense tracker Flutter application using ESA database. Our focus will be using the latest version of ESA database. Over at the studio, we have an existing tutorial on ESA database, but a lot has changed since the production of that tutorial. The project starts with creating a new Flutter application, then we'll dive into using the most recent version of ESA DB to create a local database for application, implementing the main concepts of ESA DB, which include collections, database indexing, working with IDs, understanding relations, embedded objects, crude operations, queries, transactions, watches, full text search, performing error handling, data synchronization, data serialization, EZDB and security, testing, and for better state management, we will use Riverpod. The prerequisites for this tutorial include a basic understanding of the Flutter framework. If you're excited as I am to build this up, get ready because the course is coming very soon.